Hi mamas, it is Monday, so I am coming on for a quick chat for Mindful Monday. If you are new here, I'm Carrie Olson. I am a certified clinic coach and I work with overwhelmed moms um, to give them techniques and tools. Um, intense emotions but just honoring and acknowledging what's happening and being a mom obviously can be very overwhelming can be very overstimulating at times and so even those of us who don't have full-blown anxiety have anxious moments um, and have moments of being Which is why I like it. It's a great thing to keep in your back pocket. Once you learn it, um, you'll have it in your head and you can use it wherever you are. So if you're in the kitchen and people are driving you nuts because you've got little ones in between your legs while you're trying to make dinner, um, you can use grounding techniques then. If you are at a festival and it's you know loud and people are screaming and kids are yelling and you know you're overwhelmed then like anywhere you go you can use these grounding techniques so the five four three two one um, technique uses your five senses so what you're going to do in the moment when you need to calm down is start with five things that you can see so you're literally going to look around and say okay i see a pair of scissors i see a book i see tea i see a napkin that's what's in my office right now so i'm going to name five things that i can see right now then i'm going to say four things i can feel so i can feel my sweater i can feel my jeans i can feel a pen i can feel something um, cold on my face maybe that can be really helpful um, so four things that you can feel then you're gonna move to three things you can hear so right now I can hear cars outside my window I can hear a bird that's actually annoying the crap out of me today um, outside my window and I can hear myself talking so those are my three things that I can hear then we're going to move to two things you can smell um, so being aware of things that you can smell and one thing that i started doing um, when this was new for me and i was really kind of struggling with being really overwhelmed like all the time um, is i kept a little essential oils vial kind of in my back pocket so i had one um, and i talked to a mom last week and she's putting her essential oils in the baby bag or the diaper bag um, so we can pull that out really quick and for me the orange um, citrus flavor is my favorite when I'm really stressed out but obviously like lavender is great for stress lots of people use that um, some people like the more like in your face like eucalyptus smell that's a little bit too much for me usually um, but pick you know a smell something like that that brings like warmth and goodness to you and have that on hand so you can use the smell that's like around you but you can also induce one um, if there's one that would help you calm down so two things that you can smell and then the last is something that you can taste um, and again this is something where you can pop a mint in your mouth and that peppermint can kind of give you a shock to bring you back into the moment um, you can think of other things that just like taste good or have really lovely like uh, memory associations with you um, sometimes we just need a you know, a bite of chocolate, uh, but whatever it is, something that you can taste. So those are the five senses. And like I said, you're just gonna go through those. Um, after you've done it a handful of times, you might find that one sense is uh, a lot better for you or a lot more helpful. So like I said, um, for me, the smell was really powerful for me um, to help calm me down. Um, and listening to music was actually the other thing that were really helpful for me. So sense of touch, just didn't drive 
for me most of the time. So try these out, figure out what sense is most impactful for you, which is the one that's going to help you calm down and decrease your overwhelm the fastest or the easiest. Um, and like I said, think about what would be accessible for you no matter where you go. Can you pop your headphones in anywhere you are? Can you, um, take something really soft and kind of always have it in your purse, something that will, you know, petting it, kind of feeling it's going to make you feel better. Um, I know people who use Play-Doh or um, putty, things like that, so things that they can kind of touch and play with. So try some things out, figure out what works for you. I would love to hear from you um, if you try what works, what doesn't work, because that's also really helpful sometimes too. Sometimes we need to try things and figure out what does not work for us so that we know um, what we can do differently in the future. So hope this is helpful. Would love to hear from you um, and I'll see you soon.